Hello everyone, welcome to Kids Church. It's nice to see you again. We're really looking forward to seeing you in a few weeks back in church together. That will be so great. Today we are taking a break from the book of Titus that we have been looking at and we are going to learn about the history of our church and an important time in that history. Today is the 31st of October which is called Reformation Sunday and we remember a time in church history called the Reformation. On this day, more than 500 years ago, in 1517, a man called Martin Luther nailed to the door of his church in Wittenberg in Germany a list of 95 things that he saw as wrong teachings from the church. Now, we're not going to learn about all 95 of them today because that would take us all day and you wouldn't remember any of them. So we are going to just focus on one key word from the Reformation that it would be good for you to understand and that you can keep thinking about this week and as we continue to learn from the Bible in the coming weeks. And that word is grace. Martin Luther and the other great leaders and teachers of the Reformation said that we are saved by grace alone. Grace means an undeserved gift. That means there's nothing we do that makes God love us anymore. There's nothing we can do that means that we deserve God's gift of love and forgiveness. There is nothing we can do because it's undeserved. God gives us his love and his forgiveness freely and fully without us doing anything to deserve it. So what does that mean for us here in Narrabri? How can we remember this and what can we do differently? Well, if you are saved through grace alone, that means there is nothing you can do to make God love you any more than he loves you right now. And there is nothing you can do that would make him love you less than he loves you right now. What you do doesn't make God love you. He loves you because he is the king, he is your creator, and you are his. So... What do we have to do to be God's friend if he says it's through grace alone? Well, you need to say, thank you, God. I do want to be your friend. You need to accept it. You need to have faith in him. The leaders of the Reformation taught us that we are saved through grace alone, by faith alone, in Christ alone, and that we can know him through scripture alone, and then we can live to the glory of God alone. So... This week, and while you're doing your sheets and while you're doing everything, I want you to remember that you are saved through grace alone. God has given his love to you fully and freely, and there is nothing you can do to make him love you more. So let's pray together now to thank God for the teachers he gave us in the Reformation to thank God that we have got the Bible, that we can read and get to know him and understand who he is and what kind of person he wants us to be. But most of all, to thank him for his grace, for his gift to us, for the love that he gives us so freely and so fully, a love that is bigger than we can even imagine. So I want you to close your eyes if that helps you to concentrate. I want you to put your hands together because it helps you not to fiddle around with things. And let's pray together and thank him for the Reformation and thank him that those things are still true 500 years later and that we can learn from them. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you are our friend. Thank you that you love each and every one of us watching this so much. Thank you that you give that love to us by grace alone that there is no special words we need to say or special things we need to do to deserve your love, but that it is a gift given to us freely by you. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. Help us to love you too, to thank you for this gift of love every day and to know it deep in our hearts. And thank you, Lord, for the Reformation, for Martin Luther and the other leaders that you gave us that they could teach us these things and that you could use ordinary people like them to change your church so that we can all know you better and love you more. 
Thank you, Lord, that you are going to love us all week this week and for the rest of our lives. And help us, Lord, to trust in that love and to come to know you better. Amen.